Hello students, let's do fundamental concepts in geometry, exercise 17a, questions 8 to 15. This is on page number 180. We are on question number 8. Under what condition will two straight lines in the same plane have no point in common? When will two straight lines have no point in common? When the two straight lines are parallel to each other. When they are parallel to each other, they will not have any point in common. So, we have been also asked to draw diagrams if it is possible. So, let's draw. So, we have got two parallel lines here. So, we have AB and CD and as you can see, they have no point in common because they are not meeting each other. So, there is no point in common. Question 2. Under what condition will two straight lines in the same plane have only one point in common? When will they have one point in common? They will have it when the two straight lines intersect. When they intersect each other, there is one point in common. So, here we have two lines, AB and CD, and they have intersected at a particular point. So, they have intersected at this point. So, they have one point in common. Question 3. When will two straight lines have an infinite number of points in common. See, they'll have one point in common when they intersect each other. They will have no point in common when they are parallel to each other. Now, when will they have many points in common? Okay, they will have many points in common when the two lines coincide. That means one on top of the other. So, we have one line here. So, this is AB. We have one line AB. And if we have one more line right on top of it, Okay, that is A is equal to C and B is equal to D. A, B and C, D. They are one on top of the other. Then they will have many lines in common, many points in common. There are many points there and they have many points in common to both the lines. Question 9. Mark two points A and B on a page of your exercise book. Mark a third point P such that we have to follow these conditions. Where should we put P? Okay, so P lies between A and B. This is the first one. So you're going to mark two points A and B and then P should lie between A and B. And the three points A, P and B are collinear. What are collinear points? Collinear points are three or more points that lie on the same straight line. So we're going to draw a straight line. We're going to have all three points on that line and P is going to come between a and B. So let's draw that. So we've drawn the line. We've got a line here. We've got two arrowheads to show that it's a line. Then we have the three points A, P and B. We have followed the condition. P lies between A and B. P is here between A and B and the three points are collinear. That means they are on the same straight line. So we finished following the conditions for the first one regarding P. And the second one P does not lie between A and B and yet the three points are collinear. So all three points must lie on the same straight line but P does not lie between A and B. So let's draw that. So we've got a line here. So we've got A and B and P does not lie in between. So you can draw P anywhere. You can have P anywhere on this line but it should not be between A and B. Next one, the three points do not lie in a line. So they're not collinear points. So, we just have A and B and P has to be put somewhere so that they are not on the same straight line. Now, like this. So, we have A and B here and P is not on the line. So, they are non-collinear points. Question 10. Mark two points P and Q on a piece of paper and how many lines can we draw passing through both the points? That's the first question. So, we're going to have two points P and Q. And how many lines can you draw passing through both the points P and Q? So here we have the point P, then we have the point Q. Now passing through both these points, how many lines can you draw? You can draw only one line. So you need to write that only one, only one line. Now how many lines can you draw passing through the point P? That's the second question. So draw the point P. And then how many lines can you draw? So if we have the point P here, okay, that is a point P. And then we can have Q anywhere there because in the beginning it says draw two 
uh, points P and Q. Now through P alone, through P alone, how many lines can you draw? So we can draw many lines, isn't it? One and then we have another line, we have another line. We have so many lines. We can draw many lines passing through P. So here the answer to this question will be infinite or you can write many, many lines. Next one, how many lines can you draw passing through the point Q? So we have the point Q. So and then we also have a point P, isn't it? We have drawn two in the beginning as it is given in the question. Now, only through Q, how many lines can you draw? That's the question. How many lines can you draw passing through the point Q? So let's see how many lines we can draw. So one and then two, three, four. You can draw many lines. You can draw many lines passing through Q also. Question 11. The adjoining diagram shows a line AB. So here can you see the diagram given? It's a line AB. Now we have to draw figures to represent a few things. So here's a line. Now we have to draw a ray AB. A, a ray AB. So how do we draw that? So that's a ray AB. So it has a starting point. So we have a starting point here and that is A. And then we have another point. Just to name it, we have a point here AB. The other end is continuous as you can see in this symbol here. Symbol of AB. AB is a ray. Okay, so we have a ray there. Now you have to draw ray BA. So you have B there and BA will be this way. AB is like that. BA is this way. So let's draw ray BA. So can you see we've drawn that and this is the starting point which is B and this end is A. So this is BA. Now the symbol will always be like this. Whichever direction the ray is in, the symbol will always be like this. Now we have to draw a line segment. A line segment has two end points, isn't it? It's just that portion that you can see, A and B. Now it is this portion, this one, A and B. That is the line segment. It has a starting point and an ending point. So we have drawn the line segment AB. Question 12. The adjoining diagram shows a ray AB. Yes, we can see a ray AB. Now we have to draw figures to show ray BA. So let's draw ray BA. So that will be a ray like this. Then we need to mark it properly. So this point is fixed. So that will be B and the other end is A. Now let's draw a line AB, question 2, line AB. So we have a line here and as you can see the two arrowheads show that it is a line. And let's name it line AB. So we are naming it as line A and B, put the two points. Now line segment BA. So draw line segment. A line segment AB or BA can be put the same way because both ends are fixed. So you have fixed points. So we have drawn all three figures here. Now question 13. The adjoining diagram shows a line segment AB. So this is a line segment which has a starting point A and an ending, ending point to fixed points B. Now draw figures to represent first one ray AB. So let's draw a ray so and name it AB. So the A is fixed and B is the other end AB. So we have a ray here, AB. Question 2. Line AB. We have to draw a line AB. So that's the line AB. Let's name it. So here the this end on the left side, we'll name it A. And on the right side, we can name it B. And the two arrowheads show us that it is a line. Third one, we have to draw a ray BA. So we have a ray BA. So we have this point is fixed and that is B and the other end is A. So we have drawn all three that is asked here. So let's go on to the next question. 14. Question 14. Use a ruler and find whether the following points are collinear or not. So a few points have been given to us and we have to use a ruler and find out if these three are collinear. What are collinear points? Collinear points are three or more points that lie on the same straight line. 
So if D, A and C lie on the same straight line, then we can say that they are collinear points. So use your ruler. Now D, keep it on D and draw a line up to A. Okay, so we've drawn a line up to A. Now keep it on A and draw a line up to C. C is here. Now can you see all three D, A and C are not on a single straight line. So these three points are not collinear. So let's write our answer. The points are not collinear. Now let's go to the second question. A, B and C. Here also take your ruler, place it on A and draw a line up to B. So let's do that. Okay, draw a line up to B. Now from B, draw a line up to C. So we've drawn the line up to C and as you can see again, all three are not on the same straight line. They, all three points have to be on the straight line, same straight line if they are collinear. So these three points are not collinear. So the points are not collinear. Question 3. Now A, B and E, are they collinear or not? Now take your ruler, place it on A, draw a line up to B. Then from B, draw a line up to E. So let's do that. First from A to B, okay, we have a line. Now B to E, okay, as you can see, all three points are on the same straight line. So the points are collinear. Question 4. Now B, C and E, are they collinear? So first, place your ruler at B and draw a line up to C. So B to C, now from C to E. C to E is drawn. Can you see they are not on the same straight line? So such points are called non-collinear points. So B, C and E are non-collinear. The points are not collinear points. Now question 14. From the adjoining figure, can you see the figure given? Now we need to look at all the lines drawn there and we need to answer these questions. So the first question is, write all pairs of parallel lines. So there are many parallel lines here as you can see. There are three lines. Write, write all pairs of parallel lines. So we're going to take all pairs. That means two lines. So can you see E and F, E, F and G, H are parallel to each other. So let's write that first. So write E, F is parallel. So we draw these two lines to show that they are parallel. EF is parallel to GH. Now let's see the next one. Now we can see GH is parallel to IJ. So let's write that. So this is one set. Now GH is parallel to IJ. Now if you look carefully, EF is also parallel to IJ. Okay, so we can write that also. EF is parallel to I, J. So we have three pairs of parallel lines here. Next question, write all the lines which intersect with E, F. Now where is E, F? We have the line E, F here. What are the lines that intersect with E, F? So now this is E, F and there are only two lines that intersect with E, F. One is A, B and the other is C, D. They intersect with E, F. So let's write that. A, B and, and C, D. C, D intersect with each other. Next one, write lines whose point of intersection is G. So look for G. So G is here and the point of intersection is this one, this point, isn't it? Now, which are the lines that meet at G? So if you can see A, B is touching G. And G, H is also meeting at the point G. So what are the two lines? A, B. A, B is one line. And G, H. G, H is the other line that meets at point G. So we have answered these questions here. So children, we've completed the exercise. And in our next video, we will go on with the next exercise. Thank you, children.